Uh, I, I didn't really have a good thumbnail for this, uh, because all my, all the bays I'm actually testing on are still packed away. Um, hey guys, uh, welcome to the stream. Today, uh, I'm gonna be testing some of the older dual and single layer Beyblades, uh, mostly single, uh, because Beyblade Blues Classic, uh, which if you don't know, is the... Hopefully, uh, it's not confirmed yet, um, but some of the people at the WBO are working on getting a format, uh, that includes, or that, uh, doesn't include Chozy God and the next evolution up from that, so it's just gonna be dual and single layer Beyblades, so it's gonna be kinda like, uh, classic, uh, there's gonna be a couple dual and single layers banned like L2 and possibly J2. Hey, how's it going, uh, guys? Uh, sup? But yeah, so we're actually gonna be doing some testing with some of the older Hasbro stuff. Because, as a Hasbro player myself, I need to, uh, see how good the Hasbro, the old Hasbro stuff is. Um, also, uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a review series... Uh, for the Beyblades, based on Wombat's review series, WBO Wombat. If you haven't seen his Beyblade, uh, burst review videos, definitely check them out, they're very helpful. Uh, and that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing, but I'm gonna be doing it for Hasbro. The discs are probably gonna stay, stay the same, basically. Um, and maybe the drivers, depending on the ones. Um, but that, the layers are gonna be different, because a lot of the layers are different, the better, the worse, good for different things. So... First, I'm actually going to be testing out the Valtriac layer. Uh, I already got some defense bit. Doom says a G2 gravity a bit. Uh, I will test that. Um, actually, because that, that brings up a good point. That's a very strong Beyblade. But I want to see if it's that strong in the Hasbro meta. So here we go. Another, a couple things I want to test are Odin as well. Or Odax. Because Odax was a beast. Uh, back in the metal, uh, not in the metal, in the Takara Tomi game, uh, just because. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Loctivore Heavy Survive, just stock Loctivore, because it's, wow, that's, it's very bright. It's very, very bright. Uh, I might want to move this big chungus, uh, away a little bit. Uh, just because it's very bright. It's brighter than I expected it to be. Uh, this is, like, the only source of light that is possibly good. Um... I want to say that's good, but I can't exactly tell 100%. No, that's not much better. Maybe I'll just kind of like put it, point it like directly upwards. You know what? That's so weird. Okay, I'm going to just put it behind the camera then. Give it a leech that far. There we go. The color might be a little bit washed out, but that's probably the best we're going to get uh, for today. So, yeah, I'm going to test D2. Hold on, actually. Let me check something. Ch yeah, dude, Chungus, man. Chungus. Raspberry Chungus. I think it's better. Okay, so we have... I'm going to be testing it against, at least for the first battle, Stock Loctivore. With the blue survive the way it was meant to be. Alternating launches, here we go. We're doing five battles because these are going to be quick tests. From what Wombat was saying the other day um, in a voice chat, but not the other day. But he said this in a voice chat once. Uh, he said that he bets Loctivore R2 is going to be very good. Uh, in Classic. Uh, the Loctivore R2 stock combo. Loctivore R1 stock combo. Ooh. Okay. What an interesting predicament.
Looks like Hasbro D2 is still really good. It's still just as good as the Takara version. Probably a little, a little bit worse. Then yeah, another thing I want to test is Odin. And keep in mind, this is going to also include Hasbro exclusives. So, Hasbro exclusives are still going to be in the game. Anyway. I actually want to check uh, something real quick. Me too. Spread. Spread gyro. Alright, so yeah, it seems very good. I think it may be because uh, Orbit destabilizes uh, Survive and Cone Shape tips like Revolve and such. Okay, yeah. If it boosts, if one of them boosts, they both boost. Let me try uh, Heavy Zephyr actually because Heavy Zephyr is a strong combo. Hi. Hmm, okay, so D2 is still very good. Let's see if it can be uh, D1 uh, spread uh, gyro. Weak launch, of course. Oh, come on, don't burst. That's cool. So, right now, D2 Gravity Orbit is a thing to beat. Um, let me try Heavy Extreme, actually. I don't know if Lockjaw is good for boost or knockout attack. I think it's just good attacking way up the wall. So, that's boost priority. Uh, D1, or D2 won it, which is, again, pretty good. Um, let me try, uh, Spread Revolve, uh, versus D2. Orbit. I gotta get me a couple extra D, D2s, just because they break so easily. Yeah, it's about what I expected. Involve has a very weak spring. So. I don't know if Gyro is going to be good in the Hasbro meta. Or uh, if Evolve is going to be any good in the Hasbro meta. Just because it has such a weak spring. And anything that. Even things that are like. I see as pretty difficult to burst. Like Tempest Wife one. If you pull Evolve on it, it's going to burst. But. If it's going against a competent attack type, or at least decent Beyblade. Strange. 
Okay, again, I'm gonna test this Valkyrie really, really quick because I said I was gonna do. Oh, uh, where is it? Here it is. But as I probably might have said earlier, I always thought Hasbro Valkyrie was kind of trash. Uh, just because it's just. What was what more is there to say? It was just never good. Uh, I thought it boosted way too easily. Well, it boosted way too easily. But maybe that's just me. Heavy needle, let's go. Oh, man. Okay, so I know they both boosted. They both boost. But, um, Valkyrie was able to get the boost. He was able to boost it, and it boosted. It boosts Doom as a first, so that's definitely something of note. But yeah, I've always noticed that uh, Valtriac had bad slopes. Well, not bad slopes, but not the best for attack types. Maybe it's just because I didn't know how to use it back then. And now I'm more competent and I know how to use it. Okay, so for now, uh, I'm not just gonna assume that for limited, there's not gonna be any core discs, and there's not gonna be any uh, drivers from God series. I know it's a big assumption to make, but I want to make that now, just so, just so everyone knows that's what I'm testing it on. And I really hope Beyblade uh, boost classic. Turns out this way. And again, as I said earlier, I'm pretty sure if J2's not banned already, it's going to get banned. Okay, so Valkyrie does pack a punch. Valkyrie does pack a punch, it seems. It almost burst, but still. Um. Let me see if I can win while weak launching with D2, or with D1. A decently weak launch. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, if it didn't burst afterwards. Let me actually try, uh, armed. We try and try armed needle, armed claw actually, because I've heard this. I've, yeah, I've heard this combo before. Doesn't even stand a chance here. Yeah. But I don't know if Hasbro Valtriac is gonna stand that much of a chance. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Neptune, or Nepstrius, definitely not. Everyone knows Nepstrius is trash. At least the Hasbro version is. Knuckle a little bit, let's go. Knuckle a little bit, very good combo uh, for Nepstrius with TT. Ne Nepstrius, Knuckle Orbit. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna go Doom Scissor. Doom Scissor, this one. It wasn't even that hard to launch. It was kind of a weekly launch. Yeah, see what I mean? D1 did boost, but like... Neptune, TT... Uh, has, yeah, TT is very good for boost defense. But it's this one just... Bad slopes all around. Okay, I want to try... Uh, D1 as a staller against. <laughs> We're kind of reversing the roles here a little bit. Against V1. I'm glad stallers are finally going to be relevant again. Because I heard of a lot of stalling combos. I've never really seen one in play though, because they're not relevant now. Because of the whole life after death uh, thing. 
that you just really can't use them now. Oh, come on! Oh, okay, good. It almost burst, though. Honestly, it almost burst. Burst in my hand. Um, I doubt it. I doubt it. Highly, 100% doubt it. Can it stall out D... Can it stall out D1 knuckle a little bit? Or D2 knuckle a little bit? You know what? Let's try knuckle defense. Hey, how's it going, Prestige July? How's it going? Yeah, dude, it's Gucci with me, dude. I've been sick for the past week, whatever. I had to call in sick to work twice, whatever. Who cares? Oh man, that was a close one. I'm gonna give that to D2 though. I have to give that one to D2. Come on, Monster. I might actually start using my TT string launcher, honestly. Uh, I never found it to be very good, but apparently it's very good. Alright. Bush Limited is one thing. I'm talking about Bush Classic, but for, Bo for Bush Classic, I'll talk about Bush Classic, then I'll talk about Bush Limited. Uh, it, no, not the other way around, my bad. That was, that was so bad. That was extraordinarily bad. I used string launchers primarily. That was that was a very bad launch. Uh, but back to what I was saying. Limited. Uh, I know G3, uh, MG, and uh, SOS3 and SR. They're already banned, so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, but if I have to guess, probably B3 is gonna get banned if it's not banned already. Um, that may be it. Honestly. I don't know. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. It's safe to say that you're definitely gonna see B3 banned. Um, Hasbro bearing quite possibly will get banned. But I don't know about that. It is definitely one of the best pieces, if not the best Hasbro piece out currently. So, when it comes to drivers, I mean, put something, put bearing on something, and it becomes a lot harder to boost instantly. And along with the stamina buff, it also buffs life after death. And I think I'm pretty sure that it has the POM plastic, polyoxymethylene. But if it doesn't, that just adds a buff to its uh, knockout resistance. So. Though it would give a slight nerf to stamina, it'd give a, lot, a big buff in uh, KO resistance. Wow, okay. So, not a second time, not against gravity orbit. So, um, you know what? Let's try spread Zephyr on a locked vault R1. Because I know I said this earlier in stream, but I honestly think... Very good. Oh, okay, so back to... Back to limited, yeah, I don't think much is getting banned. And same with Boost Classic. For the most part, I think all the god layers are going to be banned. Besides, maybe... Like, gosh... Gosh. Besides, maybe, like, God Valkyrie. Uh... And like maybe Blaze Ragnarok, maybe those two will be unbanned. And maybe something like Guardian Kubeus, but I, I assume that all the God layers are being banned, along with the core discs and frames. Uh, 
I want to say the drivers will stay, but I don't really want the drivers to stay because that'd make it they that would add elements of God into the Bush Classic, which is supposed to be just just the first two uh, seasons. <coughs> I think you're definitely seeing L2 banned. So that's like a should. You you most likely seeing J2 banned. Uh, maybe D2 and maybe Odin. Uh, and maybe D1. I'm not sure. But I really do think something like like that's over, as overpowered as J2 has to be banned. Because it, it doesn't boost. Maybe something like Orpheus or Orpheus as well. Just because it's like, it's like really unstoppable. Like it's very hard to beat. I've only seen it beat once or twice. Yeah, let me put it against Rocktable, um, Rocktable Arm Claw. How about that? That's a good combo. This is Orpheus down Orbit. I think it ties up with something like Surge Excalibur. Let me do the test really quick. Someone on the WBO said that, like, the Tyros Infinity Zephyr was able to burst Orpheus. But I doubt that. That was a mislaunch. about last step, but that was just because I mislaunched a little bit. I really give it a good launch. You get this one. It's light, right? Like, it's definitely not going to be able to keep up with the, the god stuff as well. But, like, no slope movement. Like, none at all. And he almost boosts. This thing has insane recoil. And I feel like it's going to be used for, like, Anti-attack similar to Quad Katsukoto. I'm pretty sure Quad was used uh, for anti-attack and defense. I think I think defense, and I'm pretty sure anti-attack. But yeah, like it like moved, but like not much. And even though it didn't move, it, it it's it's good. Let's say that it's very good though. So I think maybe that has a chance of getting banned. But I don't really see anything else getting banned, honestly. So I wanna test Ice Twist though, honestly. Ice Twist intrigued me. Because I've always really liked Ice Twist, but I never thought it was that good. But like maybe just maybe it's good. Let's put it against G2 Orbit. G2 Gravity Orbit, to be exact. Um, it's gonna be weak launch, Ice Twist. Uh, I believe it's on Knuckle Gyro. I feel like it should have very good stamina, just because of the outward weight distribution. And with, ha with Hasbro still releasing dual and god- uh, dual and- uh, I wouldn't say single layers, but definitely dual layers. Uh, and good ones too, with Gyanon being released uh, pretty soon. I'd imagine it, it's still gonna be good. Okay, so I'm not able to outright beat D2, but still. Let me harder launch the- I don't know if it'll, it'll be able to outlast something like uh, A2, because I know A2 is very good for Hasbro as well, as well as Tsukotomi.
Maybe it's just because Gyro gets destabilized. Um, let's give D2 uh, Revolve instead. The good thing is, uh, when I start releasing my uh, review videos, it's going to really help out Hasbro players, I hope. And I'm going to be doing a lot of testing uh, and such. Ooh, just by a little bit, just by a slide, honestly. Uh, so it's, and let me reverse the parts, actually, just to check. Because I know gravity has really good stamina. Um... But I feel like, even with the reviews, I feel like Hasbro is going to be more rare. Because a lot of players that would be playing Limited uh, and using Hasbro probably didn't get into it uh, when dual layers and single layers. Maybe, though. Maybe, though. Because I do see some kids with dual and single layers. Specifically things like... Nepturious. Ooh, okay. Spe specifically things like Nepstrius. Um, and what was it? Specifically, th yeah, Nepstrius, Wyvern, and, like, uh, Eevee Pero and stuff like that. So, I do think that we are going to see more of that kind of stuff. Like, uh, so, yeah, more of, like, the later releases of Hasbro Duel and Single Layers. Then we are going to see, like, really older things, like Valtriac. Um, like, regular, I don't know. Maybe they're still around for some people, but not for me. Now they both have gyro, so... Um, I know my camera kind of is potato right now. But if I turn off the flash, that's what it looks like. So I'm not even going to bother turning off the flash. Okay, so it is able to beat it while stamina wise. Honestly, Orpheus doesn't seem that bad, uh, to be honest, actually. It feels like a solid bait, probably not a defense type, definitely not. But, um,. Kairos honestly seems like a very strong, depending on how, like how well it performs, I feel like it's going to be a very strong defense star. And I don't know why, on defense setups, it just looks so clean. Let me give you an example really quick. Oh, that looks like so clean on defense setups. I don't know why. Probably not very good for the fence. Try on Zephyr against this. Uh, I'll check on Zephyr. Okay, I feel it. I feel it. Also, who's excited for the new Hasbro exclusives? The Turbo Hasbro exclusives. That's actually solid defense type. Not as good as something like Dianon, of course. This guy on us is too good. I don't know if it's going to be able to handle Lock to Boy, though. I feel like, again, Lock to Boy is going to get a lot of use in. Uh, classic. So he's able to boost it, which makes sense. It's probably my. It's probably going to be a lot of people's go-to attack type, 
Uh, at least for Hasbro. I'm not sure about Takara. Um, don't quote me on this, but I honestly think uh, Loctivore is the best Hasbro attack time. Like, when it comes to just pure damage. Like, obviously, food Duel and single layers. When it comes to just pure... Okay, do that then. When it comes to just pure, like, damage, it's probably, like, one of the best. Oh, notification. Ah, oh, fucking string launcher breaking over here. Hi, how's it going? Bio here. Sorry. I don't pronounce names correctly. Um, almost boosted it though. Which again makes very, very much sense. Oh, I want to try Loctivore on Orbit really quick. Yeah, man. That's what you get. I'm going to be trying to base a lot of my reviews, my Hasbro uh, dual and single A reviews. I might do God stuff because I have a lot more experience with God. Because, well, I started competing. Like, I started getting good when uh, Evolution came out. So, like, Shogatsu 2018, I did pretty well there. Um... Okay, so Glactivo has both stamina and attack. Let's try R2, actually. I'm a bit curious. I haven't really seen R2 played very much, honestly. Uh, I did it uh, one time. Where, where was it? Uh, it was, an ANC, it was a, an ANC Games tournament in Canada. And I beat someone's Ultra Kronos on uh, Extreme. Not a very good combo, I'd say, but still... Uh, not terrible either. Damn. Locked, I think Locktivore, um, Knuckle Zephyr is a, actually, like, a, a genuinely good balance combo. It's funny because like all the Loctivores are better at attack than they are at stamina. At least for Hasbro. I know Crush, Rag Crush Ragnarok. Very good. Sup? Overhauled. Um, but yeah, I know Crush Ragnarok is very good at, on Zephyr Dash and Extreme Dash. Um, uh, I think it was a tournament in the UK. Where they did a ban on Archer Hercules, uh, Hell Salamander, and Uvai Phoenix. I saw that Crush Ragnarok on Zephyr Dash really took the tournament. At least, like, someone using it took, took the tournament. Yo, Women's, dude. I had to call in sick twice to Women's this weekend because I'm sick. I don't feel good. Um, hold on one second. Uh, I'm going to go to I've noticed something, uh, Acid Anubis, let me get spread out really quick, there we go. Um, what? Where did it go? I had the spread disc right here a second ago. Oh, well, well, um, Acid Anubis spread, here it is, spread Zephyr. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's able to stall out a lot of good defense types. I mean, defense types, probably not any standard types, I assume. But. I gotta get a better launcher, dude. I'm like, not gonna lie, I gotta get better launchers. 
Yeah, I know who you are, dude. I know who you are. I know exactly who you are. Why whenever I don't want it to do a sliding shoot, it does a sliding shoot, but when I want it to do a sliding shoot, it never does a sliding shoot. Oh, why is it sliding shoot? Dude, you're not the women's CEO, dude. I'm the women's CEO, dude. I'm both the bag boy and the CEO at the same time, dude. We added A2 spread Zephyr. Good stalling combo. If I actually get a good launch with that, it could really do a good job. I actually submitted a, a very similar combo to uh, KJ. Uh, KJ Wills, Counter Genesis, put up. You probably know him, guys. Uh, if you don't go, subscribe. I know there's zero people here, but who cares? Um, he has this combo, Gynon, 7 Cross, uh, Atomic. Uh, and I did a bunch of testing to see uh, what could beat it, and I found that A2 7 Flow uh, Iron can beat it. Hard launched, of course. You can stall it out. Yeah, dude, epic, I know. Um, but I did, like, a bunch of tests. I did, like, so many tests. And that's what I found worked. Uh, which is pretty cool, honestly. I might end up using this combo in tournaments, actually. Oh, you know what'd be cool? Uh, Anime North is coming up soon. I feel like what they should do is they should uh, introduce Boost Limited and Boost Classic. Or maybe just one or the other. Maybe Boost Limited uh, and then Boost Classic later on. But they should introduce one of them at Anime North along with uh, Boost and most likely... Uh, uh, what is it? Just Metal Fight Limited. Because I don't think anyone actually likes regular Metal Fight. Because regular Metal Fight is kind of eh. Uh, it's because there's so many things. So many good good things that kind of make it bad, if that makes any sense. Try... Oystrous Gravity, uh, Gyro. Let's see if this is a good stamina type. Let's see if I can stall it out. I feel like if this combo can stall it out, it's not a very good combo. At least stamina-wise. Or at least good stamina. If that makes sense. Yeah, see? So I got out something like, uh, uh, Doom Sizer D1 Gravity Revolve will get stalled out by this combo. Oh, I gotta get a better launch angle, man. I'm, in, I'm really failing with these launch angles. This is the only TT launcher that I can properly get to work. Just the standard one I got with my, uh, Zillion Zeus. Ah, uh, okay, makes sense. Uh, Revolve makes everything worse in Hasbro meta. You will, you guys, if you want to play Hasbro, uh, in Classic, you don't want to use Evolve. Honestly, it has a weak spring, and, like, 
Unlike the TT one, like, it doesn't even have a good life after death. Like, watch, like... It doesn't even have good life after death. Like, I think press... No, nah, maybe not press. But, like, I know it kind of has bad life after death. Because I know the plate is a lot more wobbly than TT version. And again, you gotta worry about the weak spring, which is a very big problem. Who the frick is texting me now? Oh. It's telling me that I have too much space on my phone and I gotta delete everything before I get a virus. My favorite. Oh my god, this A2 combo is actually not terrible. And, uh, I'd assume if I ran into a really good attack up, I could just weak launch it. Uh, maybe not. Uh, I'm gonna try... You know what? Let's go for something. Yeah, I'm gonna go... Um... No, what the hell? Why did I grab next trees? Valkyrie arm defense. Let's see. Let's see if I can stall that Valkyrie arm defense. Probably. Honestly, if you're wondering, the Hasbro Extend, uh, the Extend SS is actually pretty good. Okay, so, like, this Staller, man. I gotta bring this to tournaments, dude. This is gonna be good. Let me try, uh, arm, dude, let me try Knuckles Zephyr, uh, for this bay. Just to see. I have another Zephyr in here somewhere, am I? The Zephyr I only keep around because I want to be able to make my orange crush combo. Which is just my Rocktable R3. Uh, 7 Glaive, the orange glaive. Uh, and then that orange Zephyr driver. Okay. So this didn't even burst. I'd say that was a. Ooh, I don't know if that's bush priority though. Maybe, maybe not. Let's just call that a draw. Let me weak launch this. Cause then I'm going against a strong attack type. Okay, so it can't handle attack types for the most part. Um. I may want to get something else. No, I think this is this will be fine, honestly. Um, if I were to do deck, I'd probably have this guy as one of them. This will take care of like defense types. Let's see if I can actually actually let's see if we can stall out uh, D two gravity orbit because if it's not banned, that's going to be a popular combo. I can sense it. Oh, uh, where is my gravity disc? What is with me losing stuff today? <sighs> what I love is just heavy. D2 heavy orbit. Um, oh, my gravity's sitting right here, my favorite. That was insanely bad. That made me sad because it was so bad. Oh, hell no. That didn't happen. That, that honestly just did not happen. I don't, I don't believe that could happen. But I did not believe in magic. Freaking D2 broken or something? No, my D2 is pretty much broken now. So much broken. Oh, 
Oh no, don't slide and shoot. Come on. Oh, it's barely not. I feel like if I'm facing a child, I should have a good chance. Just child's. Watch it out very good. And if I don't slide and shoot and malfunction my launcher, then that's a, also another good idea. I wonder how good Hoi Suit is, honestly. Uh, that and stuff like Treptune. So I remember Treptune being a beast in my, uh, in a couple of weird tournaments I did. He was like an absolute beast. Let's try Cheeto on... Let's try Cheeto on defense, actually. Uh, let's see if Knuckle Zephyr uh, Valtteri can beat it. Yeah, dude. Makes sense, dude. I know I'm basically bashing left bush, but dude, Cheeto sucks. Cheeto is just about the worst bay you can actually get, dude. Cheeto memes don't ex don't 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 deserve to exist. Cheeto's trash. Terrible, not terrible. No, it was almost boosted itself, dude. I don't think it has good stamina, dude. I don't even think. I'm pretty sure it's terrible. Oh, it took me forever, but I'm here. Hey, my internet connection is laggy, so. And so it comments. Yes, dude, indeed, whatever you just happened to say. I'm doing dual layer, t or sing single and dual layer testing for today. Um. Oh, and I'm just testing Cheeto combos. Um, for, for some ungodly reason. It so is com yeah. I feel like Cheeto could be decent, honestly. Now, this is the big one. This is the big one. Uh, I've been wanting to try since... Uh, really, Burst has come out. I want to try it out. To see if the how the version's any good. TT1, very good. Uh, I know that much. And I'm going to be testing it. Uh, you know what? You know what, actually? I'll do this. I'll play this game. I'll catch this cold. Um. Let's try Knuckle Zephyr on Spison. I'll do a medium launch on, um. On Odex. And then I'll do a harder launch on this guy. Splicing's not terrible. It's supposed to be a knockout defense. Uh, or attack. By the way, I heard that... Yeah, a cell, not very good. But yeah, dude, Rocktable, very good. Rocktable, heavy survival stock is actually very good. Uh, limited uh, within uh, Builder's Classic, of course. So we launched Odin. I found out that um, uh, Atlas and Nubion with 
Spread and Zephyr is very good for stalling. It can stall out, like, a lot of things. Like, it can stall out, um, things like, D it can, like, almost stock out, stall out D2 Gravity Orbit. Well, there's no way in hell I'm ever going to be able to use the tag types. I'm going to try String Launcher again. But I've just never been good with the tag types. Whoa. We're so rare. So, Jonathan, Jonathan, no one's late to the party. Here, let me try this actually. Spread, spread Zephyr on Doom Sessor. Oh, you're Sean? No, everyone's John, though. So, like, no matter who you are, everybody's John, so. Everyone's John. It's like, okay, the Doom says his thought process. It's like, okay, I've stalled out my opponent. My opponent is weak. Let's go for the attack, boys. L let's let's get it, gamers. And then Odax is like, haha, get Shrek, Jonathan. Uh, and <laughs> he just wrecks everything. Yeah, this is like A2. I haven't tested against Odin before, but Odax. But I feel like it's still gonna be good. Odin seems like it's gonna be a beast for Hasbro as well. Oh my god, it almost stalled it out. Like that's not I'm not even playing, dude. It almost and it almost boosted it. Or not almost, but it got close. Oh, uh, I can spin. Well, anything can spin steal. Spin stealing is just. It's it's not even a Beyblade concept. It's just a. It's just a, a concept within left and right. Single air Galia set, dude. I got so many of those. Yeah, but I just uh, let me try uh, heavy gyro, heavy. You know, heavy evolve. Like, okay. Mm. Here's my phone. That does it. But uh, Hasbro, if you're going to play Hasbro competitively, uh, I really would not suggest, unless you know you're not going to be facing any attack types, because it has such a weak spring. Hasbro Evolve is so bad. It doesn't even possess. It, like, it doesn't even... The whole point of TT is it's supposed to have good stamina and, and because it has possession. But, like... See this right here? That's not going to possess at all. It's kind of just, like... Bad. Knuckle is basically a better heavy, if you're wondering. Dude, where's my boy Thickle Rick, dude? Oh, it's bad, f bad for uh, stationary attack. Makes sense. I don't really know if Excalius, or, um, if Chosy Valkyrie is that good, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if it's even better than winning, because winning is very good. It's again, it's not really a necessity, but like, as Wombat said, it can basically knock out anything uh, if it's launched correctly. So here's very strong. Oh my god. Why is it so good? 
I really hate to say it, but dude, that is good. Like, that's a really good midland, to be honest. No crap, I just spaced out. There we go. I think I, I've heard this. I'm not sure. But from what I heard, uh, Hasbro Jaggy is like low key good. So I'm gonna test that when I get a chance. Um. Just because if something is potentially good, I really gotta I really gotta check to see if it is. You never know, you never know it could become potentially good uh, for competitive. Cause United, if you guys don't know, United is balling. Dude. I gotta go to bed to see you then. Alright, that's Metal Chip in the middle. Uh, see the worst in Rucker, yeah. 0 Vortex Bearing. Yeah, it's probably okay, honestly. So I feel like Ultra Hercules takes that out in a heartbeat. Because, like, from what I heard, it's basically a metal V2. So, winning Valkyrie is. So, it, it's very good for knockout, but not the best. It still gets the job done for burst, but, like, it's not the best for burst. I've never really found any of the Valkyries to be very good. Or the Valkyrie X, in my case. But maybe that's just me not being good with attack types. Because... From what people are, people are telling me, dude, V2 is good. Uh, like, V2 is really good. Uh, it was one of the better attack types. Um, for the dual and simulators, of course. Oh, okay, cool. So. A2, my god, jeez, I've been so overpowered. Let me soft launch. Odin, I think, has but Odax. Well, it does have these nerfed points here. Because on the TT one, these were like completely flat. These were completely round, I mean. Still kind of good. I was like kind of a medium launch. Oh, wow. Okay, so I was just bad with attack types then. Because. Stabilize is archer. Okay, but still. I doubt winning Valkyrie Bailing is really that top line. Damn, I've been missing out. I've really been missing out. I, I've i been missing the hell out with V2, man. I didn't think it was good. I really didn't think it was good. Probably just because I got a new spectrum. Still seems to be good. Let's try heavy orbit against it. D2 heavy orbit, to be honest. Or to be exact. Honestly, I really like dual and single layers. Maybe even more than I do God and Cho Z. God and Cho Z is kind of like toxic, if you ask me. But not, I, I wouldn't say God as much as Cho Z. But Cho Z is basically. Ultra It's basically like Ultra Hercules, Hell Salamander, and Revive Phoenix in the metagame. Whereas, um, unless you're really good and you really know your stuff, if you use pretty much anything besides those couple layers, you're gonna lose. Okay, this is a combo that I've seen many times. Uh, or at least a couple times. I, I thought it was good because. The driver can kind of switch between attack and def uh, attack and like stamina mode, uh, but no, apparently it's good because Unite's very good. Uh, I knew, I didn't know Unite was this good for defense at the time, but now I know it. Uh, it's this Doom Sizer D2 Heavy Unite. I thought it was good because it'd be both attack and defense. 
and, and stamina. I mean. But no, it's good because it is very good knockout defense. The, the V2 that was originally wrecking everything. Is Spice Wrecker in my class? Well, that makes sense. Uh, Archer, uh, not Archer Hercules. Um, Hell Salamander definitely outclasses it. Not 100% sure about uh, the new Chosy Spriggan. Because I don't know if those, those things are good. But, all I know is that it is kind of outclassed. Which begs the question, why is Splice and Rec Room still banned? And so, G3, kind of. But we're almost to, like, the next season. That would be like doing Cho Z if, like, a dual layer was still banned, basically. I know Splash and Rec Room came late into God, but like, we are almost, we are almost into the next season with Slash Valkyrie, so I don't know why. No, it's not. Splice and Requiem is not on band. Spring and Requiem is, but not Splice and Requiem. Unless, they just unbanned it like today, and I just haven't checked the WBO yet. Yeah, so is Garuda. Garuda's banned as well. Are they unbanned? Because if Garuda and Spurs are still unbanned, I'm going. I got myself a one way ticket to winning Shogatsu. See, here's my problem, right? Spurs and Requiem and Garuda are over overpowered, right? But so, but it, it, with that logic, with that same logic, I can ban like half the Hasbro layers. Uh, God layers, of course. I can ban B3 because I'm pretty sure it has more stamina, or at least on par stamina, with the Splice and Requiem. And it still spin better and bursts less. Fafnir, it's, it's um, on par, not as much stamina wise, but. It can beat B3. Like, it can beat B3, um, on Atomic. So, I'm pretty sure... Fafnir is at least on par with B3. And, sure, it bursts more often, but it still doesn't burst very often. Nightmare Long Enough can't really do a thing to it. Um... But, yeah, like... There's a lot of good layers for Hasbro. I don't know why those three are banned. Okay, last spin attack. Never use HS for attack. I really don't recommend it. NL under jolt. Use NL under instead of Meteor. Because Meteor doesn't work in left spin. Just just remove that from your head. Meteor is not good in left spin. Honestly, Star is just a better Meteor. Maybe besides the wave. Uh, let me go over it really quick. Okay, let me explain, right? So, yeah, Glaive is good, yeah, dude. Yeah, Glaive is good, I don't know. Here's the thing, right? So, Spriggan uh, for Legend of Spice and these points, very strong for attack here. But when you're an opposite spin, these things don't do crap. So, like, very weak in opposite spin. So, that's why I'm saying it does not work very well on opposite spin. Plus, it just reduces life over there. Under is probably the best choice, and maybe with Glaive as well. Glaive and Under are definitely the best choice. Probably, like, the only choices you want to go with.
Also, maybe Star, because Star is good life after death as well. I think seven star is like the best life after death you're gonna you're gonna get on a seven disc. Besides wall and um lift. Because wall and lift are just too hard to beat. Let me get Dying on. You know what? I'll get Nepstrius before I get Dying on. Nepstrius? I'm actually not a hundred percent sure how good Nepstrius is. I haven't done too much testing. But if I have to say, I feel like it's very good. Because it's tight, it has a decent shape. I'd say the shape doesn't look terrible. I, I like Nepstrius, honestly. Who's almost 1k me? Are you almost 1k? Well, congratulations if you're almost 1k. I'm pretty much almost 1k at this point. I gotta get like 100 more subscribers than I'm there. But honestly, I don't really care at this point. I don't really do videos anymore. I'm gonna try to start um, very soon. Nepture doesn't seem all that bad, honestly. I'd use it. You have very bad contact points. Like, not terrible, but like the sh like I feel like wavy. I feel like it adds a lot of recoil to them. And like how they like wave up and down. Though honestly, it's probably one of the better looking layers in my opinion. Strike mm -hmm. down the Uh, Odax. Med med medium lost. It's not terrible. I am probably going to be at a bit of a disadvantage uh, when it comes to classic because I never played in the classic meta. But sadly, parts like Volt are just never going to be used. If they had an L2, that would really suck, But so I'm glad they don't have it. But that doesn't, that, that means something like Kubeus doesn't have a chance to shine as much. Because Kubeus, in my opinion, is very good for opposite spin. So you have something like Gravity Hold on it, and it'll beat something like Drain Fafnir. Let me find the hold. Um, where is my hold driver? I always lose so many pieces. Here it is. The point is, like, gravity hold is very good against opposite spin. So. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this light hearted death. You have something like L2. Uh, let's give it atomic. Split atomic just for the fun of it. And it's probably going to win. I need to get a second hold. But I don't want to unbox the Patrometh that I have. Yeah, see? Like this guy won. If I put something like spread in it, it'd probably still win. But luckily, L2 is banned in, in classic.
Yeah, look at how much that one by him. I was able to beat someone's uh, Drain Fafnir on Octa with this combo, so it's no joke. Well, it was seven glaive. It was full, I think I think it was seven glaive hold that I beat it on. But like again, still that's no joke. Let me do a trauma testing. I heard it was okay, but I never heard anything much about it besides that it just played very well. Like it was a good attack type. Chaotic ensues. Yeah, I have like five Kanoxes, honestly. Maybe even more. Let me think. Oh no, I have five. Three in box and two that I unboxed and have in my collection. Obviously, I unboxed all three of the Kanoxes at one point just to try to get the best two bearings that I possibly could. And I got two very equal bearings. Very good. Very. Yeah, uh, honestly, I think that Bloody Longless was a lot down, yeah. Where do I live? Uh, I live in, like, New York State. I live in, uh, Syracuse. But that's all I'm telling you, so. If you live in Syracuse, what I doubt you do, um... I'm going to be hosting tournaments soon, so if you're able to join, then that'd be cool. East K, where is that? Is that Kentucky? Like the chicken? Colorado, but spelled wrong? Jeez, this battle is explosive. J2 is still probably the best defense type. He said, oh, I see. It's, it's like 10... What do you mean? It's like 10 for you. $10, 10 minutes, 10 hours, 10 years. 10 chicken nuggets in a 10 piece. Let me find it. Um, okay, so I kind of stand by this, and I'm pretty sure many other people do. Who is by far the strongest uh, dual layer? Like, maybe besides L2, but... <coughs> like, you put this thing on Heavy Unite, and you're not losing with it. Heavy, let me find it. Unless they outlast you, in which case you just go Heavy or that. Um. Ten o'clock. Yeah, it is. Ten o'clock for me. Like, dude, look at that. Like, nothing. Like, this thing's not, like... <laughs> this thing's not losing any time soon. I mean, you could put this against Lock to War and you'd still, like, get a clean victory.
Oh, it's seven, so you're in LA. Yeah, it did clean victory. Yeah, let's make the strongest combo we can. Uh, down edge, definitely. I feel like edge is still decent for stamina. It's just that I can get knocked over so easily. Yeah, look at that, that's graceful. I think the only thing that this will actually burst on is if you have it on Revolve, and that's just the golden rule with anything. You put Revolve on like anything from the Hasbro burst, and it's not gonna fail very well. Though it's definitely more likely to survive. Okay, I'll try Valkyrie Heavy Unite. Oh, I didn't burst well. What do I'm gonna test Valkyrie Heavy Unite against? I'll do test launch while you while I wait. Barry here. Top notch. This can be this bay right here can basically stop any attacks. It's like one of the strongest, if not the strongest, defense. Well, let's just assume J2 is bad. If we assume J2 is bad, and then this is like the strongest defense lane. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna have my tournament, so I wouldn't do that just so you don't give away your combos. Cause I'm not taking any combos until I put the video up. That's strange. This bay is not supposed to burst ever. Why did it just burst? I don't understand that. I don't understand why this bay mode just burst. That's about right. Burn extreme, got it. I don't know why nine. Nine's probably not really good.
Let me get a left launch really quick. I don't really have one on hand. See, the little you can just weak launch against it and you'll win. Oh, you can smoke away every night, okay. Seems a very good combo. Yeah, let me try something really quick. I'm pretty sure this guy's not going to be banned and limited. Uh, so let me try it. I doubt Dragoon Phantom is going to be banned. Oh, okay, be very good. Okay, cool. Don't know if it'll be able to still spin that. It's a fucking light as a feather, though. Okay, I feel like this is the correct way to have a left spin uh, equalizer. Because... If you watch this exclusive footage, you'll see why this is still allowed in competitive or in, in classic. Come on. So, if, does Valkyrie just stall it out? I swear to God. Oh, well, okay, it's not terrible. <laughs> I still feel like no one's gonna end up using these. No one really. No one's gonna end up using uh, these guys because they're just so bad. See, the L2, it, it, is, it is a little bit of weight. So, it's really able to maintain momentum. But, like, see. One hit knockout. So I'm gonna be that one guy that just can't let go of left spins. So he just he just resorts to this thing. But like there we go. This is this is Meteor Drago in a nutshell, right? It's super good for spin well not this isn't super good for spin equalization. But like it's a spin equalizer that doesn't work against attack types because it's so light, so overwhelmingly light. So, 
seems we're probably still gonna see some left spinning pauses. But people that just get away with using things like Hell Salamander on bearing and such like that, they're gonna learn pretty quickly that you can't go around with this thing and win. This doesn't even properly still spin, well. Wow. Let me try the first one. That was gonna do any better. I feel like you want to get a very heavy disc on it, though. So spread may not be the best choice. Maybe heavy. Maybe gravity. That's the problem. These things aren't reliable at all. I'm going to try gravity on it. You know, I'm gonna try yell because yell is actually pretty heavy. Yeah, that's a good solid heavy combo. Why? Honestly, if you're wondering why it doesn't really help a spin equalizer, it doesn't really do anything. No, I can't donate glaive. I don't give people stuff. Unless they beat me, or like... They win prizes at a tournament, so I'm gonna get uh, some prizes. Uh, and I don't have tournaments. Question uh, Do you actually go to tournaments? You said you live in LA, right? If you live in LA, I'd really suggest going to tournaments. So, uh, they're a really fun time. Like, they really are a fun time. So. And it's a good way. There's usually somebody selling Beyblades there. So, it's a good way to get to Color Tony Bays. Or uh, even Hazel Bays that you can't find. This is not working out at all. <laughs> I really don't think anyone that's smart is ever going to use a left spin bay. Uh, in competitive. Because with L2 out of the picture, um, this is what you're left with. This is what you're left with. Yeah, dude, you want to go to a tournament? Uh, go to the. I'm. I assume you know about the uh, the World Beyblade Organization, right? Um. If you go there, uh, go to the tournament page. Get, make an account and such. Yeah, make an account and such. Uh, if you don't have one already, and go to tournaments. Uh. I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you go. I'm pretty sure there's one going on in LA that's going to be happening soon. I'm like pretty sure. So if you want to participate in tournaments, I'd, I'd really suggest it. It's a very fun time. Yeah. Uh, and the cool thing is JoJo, or J-Pot, the YouTuber, is usually the host of those. So. It's just like how in Canada you can meet someone like 1, 2, 3, 4, Beyblade. You can meet... You'll be able to meet JoJo. So that's like a plus as well.
posting videos or just posting in general. Okay, yeah, there's no chance this is gonna work for a spinning wheel, is it? Maybe if I put something like atomic on it, but still. This thing cannot still spin. You know what? I'm actually gonna try plus. I really hope we get a Hasbro left spin that's like light and easy to knock out, but it's still like good enough. <coughs> To almost be used as a spinning collector. But I really suggest getting like your mom or dad or someone to bring you out to the tournament. Uh, don't. Okay, don't be afraid to ask anybody. Uh, ah, I see. Uh, but still, she still does tournaments, I believe. So, I'd very highly suggest uh, seeing if you can go to a tournament. Because they're loads of fun. I've been, I I go to them on the regular. But as regularly as someone, like, I can go to them. And I'm going to be uh, trying to host them soon. I know, I'm pretty sure JoJo's gonna be back to posting Burst as soon as new Burst stuff comes out. <coughs> but again, don't be afraid to ask anyone for help. Like, anyone that, like, uh, wants to join them. I'm not sure there's probably gonna be some, like, uh, some tournaments lying, or some, uh, stadiums just lying around. Uh, you can battle on them if, uh, they allow you to. Nah, I doubt it. Longinus is pretty outclassed. Hey, if you need combos, just let me know, because I know some good combos. Obviously, because... What? What bays do you have? Question. Let me just ask this. Do you have, uh, what is it? Do you have Kanox? Because if you have Kanox, you have a good shot. Kanox and Bulkhash just make the best team. Put, uh, Zero Bump Bailing on Bulkhash. You've got yourself like a borderline unstoppable combo. Obviously, how Salamander is gonna kill you. But if you can avoid how Salamander, there's really not much that can take take that combo down. But you have Balkesh. And Balkesh has bump. Unless you just have the layer for some reason. Oh, Discord is being very toxic. Um... You traded your Canox for ball cash. Okay, I see. Hi, Lightspin. Um, so you traded Canox for ball cash, but did you not trade the whole? Did you not trade the whole bay? Even still, zero flow should work okay. Yo, is it my boy WBO Wombat, dude? That's funny. Lit of you. Uh, I'm just. 
I'm just testing to see if this thing could be the future of Beyblade Boost Classic Left Spin Equalizers. It's, it's not, it's not working. Um. Uh, you do a knuckle bearing. Question, are the, um, are the, God, are the God and Evolution tips gonna be allowed, uh, in Classic? Yggdrasil knuckle bearing sounds like a good combo. I found out that um, A2 split Zephyr is like a really good staller. I was able to get it like to uh, stall out D2 um, gravity orbit, I believe. Let's see, Yggdrasil, and then there, here we go. Sounds like a pretty good combo, honestly. Let's try this, the Valtriac. Uh Honestly, until like today, I always thought the Hasbro Valtriac was kind of trash. Just because it boosts to like everything. But like, I've been having extre extremely good luck. No, it's uh, Yell Revolve. Uh, yeah, it was, it was Yell Revolve. Um, yeah, okay. BL. Wait, yeah, BL Wait's beat South Salamander. I don't know, I feel like Hasbro Bearing is gonna be banned just because, like, I stand corrected. J just because it's, like, so good. I feel maybe not, but, like, I really have had, like, the best luck with it. And even if it doesn't have, like, the polyoxymethylene, Plastic that just adds knockout resistance. This is uh Valtriac heavy heavy zephyr. Mm, yeah, that's all the parts. Bro, no longer alive splicing. Is that uh just just regular? Just just this thing? Or is it like all the other splices? <laughs> oh well. S2, yeah, S2 Gravity Zephyr is probably really good. S2 is Gravity. I only keep one of each core disc, or one of each uh, regular disc in my case. Just because uh, I. I usually don't use them, so I only keep one of each. Yeah, let me try this against Yggdrion. Knuckle bearing. Uh, so... Uh, it's Classic Stead Hades. That makes sense. Is J2 gonna be banned in, uh, Classic? Cause I freaking hope so. Uh, almost boosted. U2 is kind of a beast. Uh, honestly, uh, U1 is kind of a beast. Okay, good. Cause uh, I just went over J two just being the one of the strongest bays. Oh, Orpheus is pretty damn good as well, though. Uh, Dynon is a little bit worse boost resistance to J two, but it just doesn't have as much stamina, so it's okay. Okay, wow, this is good. Also, uh, this launcher that I got with this Z2 that I won at the tournament, I still use it. It's my best launcher at this point. Right now, my meme deck is S2 Gravity Zephyr, uh, Idrion Knuckle Bearing, Dragoon S, uh, PBS, yeah. Bro, I love Z2 as well. Um,. Yeah, this launcher right here. I still use it. I still use it. Um, 
my cheese deck is most likely going to have uh, my A2 combo. Let me see if I can find it. A2 spread uh, Zaffo, I said it was. Uh, A2, here it is. A2 split Zephyr is such a good staller, though. Like, I've gotten it to stall out, like, really good things. Like, I'm pretty sure I almost got it. No, I, I did get it to stall out my Odax on Gravity Orbit. Let me see if I can stall out this. Probably not, considering it has bearing. Trigger Gravity. Ooh, Trigger Gravity bearing. I'm so unorganized. Everything's just kind of thrown on my futon over here. Oh, that was, it. was that a tie? I'm not sure. I think that was that was either tie or Yujiro's win. But like, I, you saw that it almost stalled it out completely. Um. This thing boosted. Well, X3 is not very good, to be honest. Yo, let's use the no longer alive. Uh, boosted X3, eh? Boosted X3, Oh, let me find it really quick. So this is by far the strongest attack type that you're gonna see in all, all of classic, maybe even all of like the current meta right here. Uh, here you go. Um, I know it has like worse slopes than Nepstrius, but it's it's the strongest attack type. Yo, watch this, right? You could put up. Let me let me let me uh find it really quick. Um, hold on. Wait, wait, I only have six discs. discs. <sighs> Yo, this combo is just about to be this. You ready? Watch this. Watch this masterpiece of a Beyblade. Hi, hi guys. Let's go, let's go. Come on, just get one hit. I'm surprised it hasn't boosted yet. Let's see how many clicks. I don't know, clicks make sense. I didn't I didn't launch Dragoon hard enough though. That's probably why. Dragoon is by far like the worst layer in all of Hasbro meta right now. It's definitely like the worst layer. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. Like it's not even a question. This guy is just like one of the worst. Worst in all of Hasbro. Maybe even Takara told me it's all. Can beat, uh, K, uh, Kubeus? Makes sense. Loctivore is a stamina type. Oh, okay, so this is weird. Uh, this this one tournament, I believe it was Shogatsu. This wasn't in an official match, but I got my my uh, K1. Uh, I think it was four, it was either four glaive or seven glaive um, hold to outlast somebody's Dwayne Fafnu on Okta. Yo, bro, this thing, yeah, that can beat K, dude. Um, I, I just did... I just did Drigger Gravity Bailing, and it got, like, instantly wrecked by, like, everything. Because Okta has, like, too much metal in it. It has, like, dude, it has all the metal. It's, like, I think it's, like, 16 grams, just the driver itself. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's, like, 16.
Oh, the table took two energy. Oh, okay, it makes sense. Oh no, boy, you don't want to jolt dash s. Oh no, it's so it's like kind of low. It's low key bad. I might use. I might use, uh, j like, yard dash S, but I don't know. Jolt, let me, s let me see. I have it right here, actually. Um, along with my L flu. My case is a bit of a mess at this point. Just be, like, my, yeah, my case is, like, a huge mess. Uh, just because, uh, I have been renovating it a little bit. Let me get my grade A under frame really quick. Also, I don't know why, but, like, Seven star is like surprisingly good on Bokesh. Not as good as something like Zero Bump or like Zero Cross. You know, um, let me get out my HS combo really quick. Um, HS. Man, a this is like the best, the best HS combo that I make. I don't really have it. This is like the best driver for HS that I have, which is the tunnel. Um, but let's see. Maybe I don't really have anything good that is a left spinning launcher at this point. I don't actually. I don't even actually have a left spinning launcher that works. TBH. At this thing, but it's like literally. Wait, okay, cool, that's, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, it's one click away from boosting? After, like, two hits? Wow. Yeah, and so, yeah, CS, dude, I've already figured that one out. Um, he's definitely good. But I've, I've beaten, I've beaten old school before, and I, he always shows up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This launcher is so bad, dude. Like, it's... Like, listen to this. Whenever I launch, whenever I launch, I love spin with it. Why did it launch perfectly the one time I wanted to demonstrate how it's terrible? Okay, it's automatically good now. I don't know why. It's automatically good. Oh, did I use Dranzu instead of... Oh. So, yeah, I'm not the best with the plastic generation. I really only have uh, a couple of them. I have this, uh... Oh, uh, what is it? It's this, like, weird... Uh, Drusil with, like, a painted uh, green disc. Um... Okay, this might be actually good, honestly. Um... And I have, like, this Kid Dragoon or something like that. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I don't have a low. Can you use uh, HS OO wall BR against you in old school? Oh well. I don't know, is, uh, is OO, I'm guessing OO is good because everyone's using it. Is it better than 10? That's the question. I'm actually going to be buying, uh, if I can, I'm going to be buying K's wall flame to use on ball cash. And if I can find a 10 disc, I'll definitely get that as well. Just because 10 is very good. Oh, it doesn't? Is it just the rest of the combo? Wait, it's the heaviest disc now? How many gram? Is it like 0.10 grams heavier than everything else? Or is it like a gram heavier than, than everything else? I mean, it looks heavy. It looks very heavy. Uh, so that, that makes sense. But like, how heavy? If it's 25 grams, I mean, That'd be pretty dope, baloney. I don't even think my uh, ultimate uh, turbo combo can beat this. 
Yeah, let me assemble my ultimate turbo combo. What is it? Come on. This is probably like a decent attack bay. I don't know. But it's so light, like it's not gonna do anything. Like, okay, so from what you said, uh, it can be, uh, the winning Valkyrie can basically, like, knock out anything. But, like, this is HS, and this is... It's so light, it just doesn't do anything. It would have already gone out of stamina if it wasn't a left spin battle. So about that, guys. I got a call. Um, but oh well. Honestly, if it is twenty-five, I feel like it's gonna be the most used disc. It's gonna be one of the most used discs in the game. Um, wall. I really need to get. Honestly, wall seems to be a very strong combo. Uh, so I definitely need to get wall, and I'm probably, as I said, getting it from K. I'll see you later then. But yeah, 25 grams seems like it's gonna be good. Uh, but again, I don't know. It could be trash. It could be the worst disc in the game. Well, it can't. That'd be 12, I assume. Oh, speaking of speaking of the twelve disc, did you see that? Uh, that stu the stupidest thing I've ever heard uh, that Bolto posted on the WBO. He was like, "We need to unban the twelve disc because remember with the plastic generation where you'd break your friend's bay. Remember how fun that was?" And I'm like, "No, that wasn't fun." Um, but like, I I said I got that he posted that, and I'm like, "What are you thinking?" Because, like, I know a lot of people don't have, like, replacements for everything. I don't, I don't have, I know I have replacements for everything. But, I know a lot of people, the average blader is not just going to have, like, five, or at least, at least a double of them, of them is they. Like, I know that for a fact. I'm probably gonna buy Kay's uh, dual shot launcher or whatever it's called. But don't do that, dude. That's just a joke thing to do. You don't wanna purposely wake people's Beyblades. Because then they're not gonna battle with you. I know if someone was breaking my base on purpose, I wouldn't battle with them. And like. Uh, some kid named Buster Buster Boy. Um, he wanted he was he wanted to test uh if Buster Excalibur or um winning Valkyrie is better, like stock. And I'm like, are you okay with me using the 12 disc, which might break you a Beyblade? And he's like, no. So no, I really don't think they should unban 12, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. Yeah, dude, anyone that wants to unban the 12 disc is wrong. And I know some people were, like, supporting him just because he was Ubolto. We don't want to, you don't want to break his page just because he broke yours. You know I, you know what I do to people that, uh, disrespect my Beyblades? I just get good and beat them. Because that's what I am, I'm good. So like, well, I'm, I'm not going to brag, I guess. I'm not really going to brag. I just. I'm just, I'm just pretty good myself. So like, someone out there disrespecting my blades. 
I just pulled the one two ball catcher on them and they're dead. The only bear that's ever really beaten Balkesh, um, like for Hasbro, I mean, was when I was doing my Knox tests to see what, what disc and flame combination were the best for Balkesh. So I deduced with seven cross, um, zero cross and zero, zero bump. But, also, yeah, Zeph was really good. But, like, not to mention, um, my I was testing B three on destroy, and my twin nemesis, or twin Noctimus on extend. Yeah, it was a uh, extend dash esque. Actually, uh, stalled it out completely. Well, I gotta get good for limited to be honest. Oh, for, yeah, for classic. Mm -hmm. Yo, let me see. Um, I want to try that actually, just to see if it's good. Because. How did I not think of polish when I was doing the tests with uh with the life after death tests? If this is allowed, then I'm probably gonna end up using it. Just cause if it's allowed, then I'll be good. Oh, I see. But like. That was weird. I assume anything that's like really good could beat it just because this bay is so light. I think it's too light to be used in my opinion. But if it if we have um the drivers from God, I assume it'd still be good. Let me try Y2 Y1 bearing on it. Why one bearing against it and see if it'll win. God damn. Dropping my shit everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna go soon, so. This is probably gonna be like the last battle. I think his attack's gonna be a lot more viable uh, with limited coming out. So that's definitely a good thing. I hate how, like, most battles with stamina battles. So I'm actually gonna take. I'm gonna take uh, this guy's. This. Whoever it is. Wombat. What's his name? Yeah, Wombat. I'm gonna take his advice to, um, to heart. I'm gonna. That's not what I meant to do. Oh wow, it does work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and three C. Though I don't know. Wombat's probably not here anymore. Uh, so I might ask him later. Uh, is extent does extend plus have more stamina than bearing? Because if not, then I can definitely beat it. Alright, so that's gonna be the end of this live stream.